All right, welcome to the second example for the moment distribution method. Here we have a, a little bit more of an in-depth example. I thought I'd throw everything into one example. We have a fixed end, uh, a beam with fixed ends on A and D, and so on both sides. We have two rollers, B and C, and we have a, a 40 kip load acting on span AB at 10 feet from A. We have a uniformly distributed load of 2 kip per foot acting on span BC, length 30. And we have a, a point load of 60 kips acting on span CD right at the middle of this span, so at 15 feet from either C or D. Okay, So when we do um, the moment distribution method, the first thing we need to figure out are the distribution, distribution, factors. Okay? Distribution factors, remember, they are the, um, the k value of the <clears throat> side of the span you're looking at over the summation of the k values for the um, span that's touching a joint. So if I was looking at joint B, the k value for BA or the left side of joint B would be I over L for span BA divided by the sum of the Ks or the sum of the Ks for the spans that joint B is touching. And joint B is touching spans BA and BC. So it would be I over L of BA plus I over L of BC. Okay. So let's, let's actually calculate the distribution factor for BA. And the, and the k value for BA is I over L. And, well, let's just write I over length. Length of BA is 40 feet, right? The 30 plus the 10. And then divided by I over L, I'm sorry, I over L of BA, which is 40 plus the I over L of BC, which is 30. And our I's actually cancel out because um, EI is constant. And we end up getting 1 over 40 divided by 1 over 40 plus 1 over 30. Right? And if we figure that, if we solve that out, our distribution factor for BA is 0.429. So I'm going to write that distribution factor here, 0.429. And now we need a distribution factor for BC, so on the right side of joint B. And again, it's I over L. And the K value up here is the K value for the span we're looking at. And our, the span in this case is BC, right? So I over the length of BC, which is 30, divided by the K values for the two spans joint B is touching. Joint B is touching BA and BC. So the K value for BA is I over 40, right? I over length, plus the K value for span BC. And the length of BC is 30. So, and again, i's are constant, so we can cancel them out, right? We get 1 over 30 divided by 1 over 40 plus 1 over 30. And if you figure that, if you plug that into your calculator, you should get distribution factor for BC is 0 0.571. So I'm going to write that f here, 0 0.571. Notice that the distribution factor for each joint should be equal to 1. So if you add 0.429 plus 0.571, you should get 1. Um, so that you can do that check when you're, when you're calculating distribution factors. Now, um, again, let's, let me actually, let me just erase all of this. And then we're going to find the distribution factor for joint C. Okay? 
So, the distribution factor for joint C, let's do CB first, distribution factor for CB, is your K value of CB, which is I over 30, divided by the sum of the K values for the spans CB and CD. So, for CB, it's I over L, which is 30, plus the K value for CD, which is I over 30. I's cancel out again. You have 1 over 30 divided by 1 over 30 plus 1 over 30. So your distribution factor for CB should be uh, 0 0.5. Okay? And the distribution factor for Actually, I'm going to write 0 0.5 up here, 0 0.500. 0, 0. And the distribution factor for CD is going to be the same thing, right? 1 over 30 divided by 1 over 30 plus 1 over 30. And that's also equal to 0 0.5. That's kind of neat, 0 0.500. 0, 0. And again, if you add the distribution factors at joint C, they should be equal to 1. So 0.5 plus 0.5 is indeed equal to 1. In So the next step, we calculated the distribution factors for each of the middle joints. And remember, when we do a uh, moment distribution, all we look at is the joints in between the two farthest ends, A and D. So for the fixed end moments, Actually, let's let's break up the fixed end moments into its own video. So in the next video, we'll calculate the fixed end moments. All right, see you then.